Near the end of the 12th century, numerous ancient and powerful empires, tribes, and kingdoms stretched from the Pacific Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea and beyond. Far from the halls of power and privilege of these great states, the Mongol steppe was home to a hardy people whom endured fierce winds and a winter that lasted nine months of the year. One of them, named Temujin, after an enemy warrior his father had captured, was orphaned at a young age and banished from his tribe. Together with his blood brother Jamuka, he murdered his older brother and later rescued his kidnapped wife. After many adventures and trials, including Temujin escaping life as a slave, both these men would become rivals and rally many steppe tribes to their cause. Jamuka championed the traditional steppe nobility while Temujin promoted and distributed plunder on a meritocratic and egalitarian basis. Temujin defeated Jamuka in a decisive battle, uniting the numerous Mongol tribes. In 1206, Temujin assumed the title Genghis Khan. The unification of the steppe tribes would have been an unknown development to the settled peoples of the world. The first empire to fall to the Mongols was the Tangut, who asked for and was refused help by the Jurchen Jin dynasty, who had received tribute from the Mongols for centuries, and incorrectly assumed the situation would not change. After the conquest of the Tangut, the Jin demanded tribute, but instead were invaded by a Mongol force less than one-tenth the size of their army. Here, the Mongol superior mobility and ferocity played a key role. They also became adept at siege warfare, thanks to captured engineers who were always spared the slaughter. The Jurchen Emperor fled to the south, as his capital city and the bulk of his realm were conquered. Roughly a quarter of the Mongol horde was sent to the east to conquer Karkatai, which had been usurped by a steppe chieftain who had fled the Mongols. This brought them into contact with Khorizm, arguably the wealthiest and most advanced empire of the day. After Mongol ambassadors were maimed and sent back to Genghis, the Great Khan was so enraged that his merciless conquest of Khorizm, over a million people, mostly civilians, were massacred. While the bulk of the Mongols were in the west, the conquered Tanga and Jin revolted, and Genghis returned to subdue the rebellion. During this campaign, Genghis died at approximately 65 years old. Upon receiving word of the Great Khan's death, all conquest ceased, and the Mongols returned to Inner Mongolia to attend a Kuril Tai, a traditional council where according to Genghis's wishes, the empire was left to his third eldest son, Ogadai. During his reign, the conquest of the Jurchen Jin dynasty was completed, and the meticulously planned invasion of Europe began. However, this campaign was called off due to his death, and another cruel tie was held. His successor was an able ruler and administrator in his short reign, which saw no major campaigns. Under Monk Khan, Persia and Mesopotamia became fully incorporated within the Mongol Empire. The sack of Baghdad during this campaign is considered to be one of the largest massacres in human history. His successor, Kublai Khan, conquered the Song Dynasty of southern China and brought the empire to its greatest extent. However, his reign was plagued with internal rebellion and a few failed campaigns that set the limits of empire, including two failed invasions of Japan. Although Khan of the entire Mongol Empire in name, throughout Kublai Khan's long reign, he increasingly took on the rule of a Chinese emperor, while other areas of the empire became increasingly independent and self-governing. After his death, no great Khan replaced him, and the empire divided. The Mongol Empire not only allowed for the first time goods, religious beliefs, knowledge, and ideas to spread unimpeded from the Pacific coast to Europe, but also disease. The bubonic plague killed as much as one-third of Europe's population, while also ravaging the Middle East and killing the Khan of the Ilkhanate and his sons, leading to the collapse of that empire into several smaller states. The Chagatai Khanate contracted but managed to exist until the 17th century. The Golden Horde was a major player in Eastern European politics, extracting tribute over a large area, until overthrown by the Moscovites in 1502. Their successor states, the Crimean and Kazakh Khanates, would exist until the 18th and 19th centuries, while the assimilated Mongol Chinese emperors were overthrown in 1368. While in Mongolia, the descendants of the Great Khans returned to their nomadic lifestyle. The Timurid Empire is often considered a more loosely connected successor state of the Mongols. This has been Epimetheus. Like and share the video. Thank you for watching.